Uh, I'm very happy to welcome uh, Graham Mitchell into the Soundfeed studio today. Some people allegedly might know you as Milky, yeah. but uh, for the purposes of today's interview and the foreseeable future, it's, it's Graham Mitchell. We'll Graham, go with thanks. Graham Mitchell. We'll go with Graham Mitchell. Thanks very much for coming in, Graham. Yeah. Um, you're doing your solo stuff. Uh, it's relatively new. Like you've you've been writing yeah. songs for a while, uh, but the profile's kind of come up uh, quite a bit mm. recently with the the release of uh, Inside I'm Dancing a, while, a couple of months ago. But previous to that, you had written other other music, which are kind of moving away from that kind yeah. of now and focusing more on the sound you had on yeah. Inside I'm Dancing. What's the whole kind of background between the um, original kind of rockier songs like uh, your first single yeah, was Me first, Versus You yeah I had one single out called Me Versus You yeah. um, I, I kind of got a demo together when I was starting off with, with about five or six songs on it yeah. and there were songs I stuck by for a long time like um, playing them and everything yeah. um, live and then I suppose just as time goes on I started listening to more Kind of influential bands and yeah. even picking up the I'm a heart I'm mainly a guitarist like, yeah. you know um and I kind of stood back from that for a while okay. kind of playing picky style songs or yeah. acousticy kind of just bang, not just banging out chords like yeah you know, and everything. yeah and um, when I started off songwriting and stuff I thought that was really the only way to kind yeah. of go with the songs a lot of people say that yeah and just stuff. kind of bang out chords and write a song and I suppose I've realised that it's in the last couple of years it's not all about that like you yeah, know it's, yeah. it's more for me now it's more enjoying it writing the music and yeah. then putting lyrics to it mm -hmm. and then going into the studio and, and producing it and having like, stuff on around yeah, it and everything yeah. I mean, would you be more of an electric or an acoustic man? that's a difficult question 50 50 I suppose 50 50 yeah, yeah. like yeah. I've my main influence would, would be from electric guitarists yeah yeah but then I also love acoustic style music as well like yeah. but really I'd say deep down I love electric yeah. more than yeah. acoustic but so when you're a kid <laughs> yeah. I'm probably yeah. still you kind of when you're looking at that yeah. kind of Wembley Stadium job it's you doing a face yeah. melter on yeah. electric guitar with the, the neck <laughs> point to the sky <laughs> The tongue out and the the audience go. Ah! On, I think. On top of a, a cliff, like you know. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You have smoke machines in the yeah. background, rather than sitting on a stool yeah. playing the acoustic, which is. Well, I suppose you're getting the best of both worlds. Yeah. Well, there, like I, you know? even when I used to get lessons when I was much younger, like mm. um, starting out. Where did you go, Walton? No. I used to have a guy that used to come to the house okay, and teach yeah, in the yeah. house, and he'd be. You'd make sure you'd learned your music yeah. for the next week because otherwise you would have gotten a uh, few words shown at you. <laughs> but, uh, keep, it, keep it at that. The then I'd done a bit. My dad taught me a lot. He he was a very good guitarist when he was younger. Okay, yeah. So he would have taught me a lot. Would have yeah. got me into bands that he yeah, liked. Yeah. Like, the likes of Pink Floyd and Zeppelin and yeah. Fleetwood Mac and all that. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's it's coming now towards more modern day stuff. like Yeah. Um, even like with the, the influence of the Arctic Monkeys and stuff like that, yeah. I would have been huge. I still am huge yeah. into them. But they, they sort of combined all that like rock with the good guitar playing yeah, and, and the, the, the good vocals kind of and yeah. the, the real kind of modern yeah. get at you. Like, and it's, I, I love all that. It's, like, a, good, you know? it's a great bedrock to have because a lot of people would, you know, their first kind of uh, the music they're into is ones that their peers are listening yeah. to and, you know, swap albums with your mates yeah. and stuff. Um, and then you might come to the, the old classics later on you know oh, what yeah, I mean so it's yeah, great to have yeah. that from the start and yeah. you've got that nice mix of that the old style and the contemporary kind of yeah. guitar music now as well and <clears throat> just going back to Inside I'm Dancing like that got a lot of a lot of great airplay like you're on uh, the RT's TXMM yeah. TXM in London uh, 2FM with Dan Hegarty <clears throat> who we were talking about earlier um, put out the tweet also mentioning yourselves and exiles yeah. who are coming into us later yeah. um, and FM 104 Joe Dotty he's song of the, song day, of the day you know yeah. so it's got, it's got great coverage from yeah. a lot of high profile kind of uh, radio stations and websites that must have really boosted did you, did you notice a big difference after a couple of weeks of releasing it that you know yeah even like releasing the video and stuff like it seemed to because it had already built a good bit of an attraction yeah. on the radios and with 2FM like 
Dan Hegarty was playing it a lot for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then like the ninety eight FM one hundred four. I was on FM one hundred four doing a little interview, just trying to plug it as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then song of the day on Joe and. Yeah. I mean, I think it got a good bit of attraction before it even came out, which was really, really good because yeah. I then released a video and then that got a good bit of attraction. That was just a, a bedroom video. Like, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That's your look, you know. But the lads that done the video for me were great. Like, they done yeah. a great job. And, you have um, to work with the tools you have yeah. at your disposal. And time and videos are expensive to, yeah. to make and put together, like, you know. And in terms of live uh, performances, have they been kind of a little bit on the back burner at the moment because you've got like a second, si or a, well, not a second, yeah. but a third single coming out now? Really what I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm really trying to get the, the music right. Mm -hmm. um, I love playing the gigs. I played an awful lot of gigs last year, um, support slots and a couple of like just the open mic nights and yeah. all them nights. I love going into them, playing all them and... But I just really want to knuckle down and kind of get the songs right. I have a good yeah. few songs at the moment to record. Yeah. So I'm in the process of kind of trying to get an EP building into an album together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I have a new single coming out as well soon enough. So. Yeah. So it's really kind um, of about nailing down, I suppose, a new set of songs that you know you can perform yeah. live eventually. Yeah. <clears throat> that would be a bit different from maybe what you were playing before. Well, a little bit of a before, mix, yeah, but yeah. like you know, still a bit of a, a noticeable difference. Like. Yeah. So um and then I suppose going on from there you what you were just mentioned the EP leading into an album yeah um have you any kind of other kind of plans like over the next between now and the end of two thousand seventeen or any things that you'd like to do that you you know have yeah a, I'd a love ball rolling on I'd love to just have that base of songs yeah singles EP mm -hmm. um that are known yeah around and then maybe. At some stage after the summer, do a big gig like you know. Yeah. Um, Is there any venues in Dublin that you haven't played yet that you you've got your your I eye think on? A, a nice venue. Oh, it, upstairs in Wheelands is a lovely. Yeah. It's a lovely vibe, and yeah. I think for the type of music I'm doing at the moment, it's suitable. It might be really <clears> suitable for. Yeah. Um, that kind of genre. Yeah. Um, yeah. Low key kind of mellow. Yeah. Mellow music, like and then, you know. And then after a little while, bring it downstairs to the old main stage. Ah, and, yeah, yeah. Know. That's that's. That's the main goal. The main yeah. goal for everyone really is to play them big gigs to yeah. sell out crowds or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I'm really enjoying at the moment producing and getting the production behind the songs and yeah. um, working with the producer. That he's doing a great job on on the music. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think like who's the producer? Yeah. It's a uh, Darren McCabe, John yeah. Dots. John Dots, yeah, yeah. Um, and he's a couple of songs out at the moment cool yeah. he's just released a single which is really really good really like, enjoying it so yeah, yeah and it's it been out. getting plays airplay as well so yeah i mean i'm working with him a good bit as well at the moment and it's we're kind of bouncing off one another and yeah. we're kind of giving good each other ideas there, yeah a really good a relationship very like, good yeah. creative kind yeah, of vibe going on between the two it's almost not like going into a studio to say oh here we just record yeah, yeah. it's really like stress stress free you, in one sense when like, you hear back to record you're like jesus yeah this is, this well i'm gonna throw something at him and he might be able to work around that or yeah yes yeah, it's just, it's just really enjoyable coming. yeah so for, for people the when's the, the new single out in the next week or two it'll be out in the next two three weeks yeah okay, still yeah. a couple of final touches to do on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. The, the little it. sneaky preview is up on the SoundCloud yeah. page. So and if people want to check out the music and then keep up to date with when other releases come out and yeah. the future gig dates, you've got the Facebook page, uh, Graham Mitchell. Graham Mitchell. You've got the Spotify is well up and running yeah. at, at this yeah. stage and the SoundCloud as well. Yeah. And, and Bandcamp as well. Yeah. Bandcamp as well. So on Twitter as well. Twitter as well. You're much of a tweeter. I wouldn't be huge into uh, neither am I. I like I like dip it, the toe in there's so much stuff coming through yeah, you need like you look you close the computer and then all of a sudden there's 40 tweets yeah like, Jesus, you have to be sitting there all day to keep yeah. up to speed with what's going on you know but yeah it's, keep thinking of doing those lists you know where you yeah. put stuff that you're interested in and then you're like list, but I, I then don't you're know. like fake right the Facebook done now yeah. and I'm do I have the Twitter done? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like, how many fingers do I have? You know what I mean? But Graham, uh, thanks so much again no, for coming listen, into some room. Looking, looking forward to sharing that Inside and Dancing that you performed for yeah, us here brilliant. earlier. Uh, looking forward to sharing the video and it's great to have you in here. Oh, thanks a million. Eight. Thanks so much. Well, appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.
he's forever making little fucking these little videos pop up on Instagram a couple of days later. You don't know what's gonna be. You don't know what he's gonna do. And I, I know you were recording me when I was sitting on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't recording. Yeah. I was actually zooming Checking in. the light. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I was zooming in on the uh, the mini screen of him playing. Oh yeah. Oh, I suppose <laughs> I'll find out in a couple of days. Anyway.